eight moves out of higher brothers just set the tempo in this game fredgen moves down and overpowers the mid lane but zane and maybe in a little trouble yeah he is he doesn't have his level four yet too he might not be able to get out of this you see who coming in here with a stun oh be a 3v3 you see lord t coming in from the end a little bit of a dance here a bit of a tango not oh. sure both of these guys are are singing the same song here as joy is gonna go ahead and have to jeet kundo out of there <laughs> lord t just uh investigating hoon gonna fly in with that wings by wing oh here comes the feathered airstrike takes both joy Baj and yato down to about half health and this is gonna mean that this first turtle is might be going over to the ohio brothers yeah formation or the platform of these uh of these matchups we're gonna see how well that comes under yato in a little bit of trouble does get caught with a stun and down comes a damn yato seven and a half minute mark huge lead for ohio brothers in this first game and i think a lot of it has to do with whom but maybe a flicker in they're zoning out this oh, this turret trying to get even more oh we do see that that uh, heavy spin comes out but a beautiful petrified oh we'll catch him and we're gonna see if we have Big. a hoon that might be taken out there very quickly here comes the tempest the blades down oh, landing i'm not sure how much more masha can do but we're gonna go ahead and jump uh -oh. right back into it we do see that Numenau blast coming down onto yato tempest the blades on to the damage now mobazane actually able to get out of that as well joy Bosch comes in a beautiful way of the dragon does land on the best player but does not take him out <laughs> pinnacle of north america here three members rotating for btk joy Boss in a little bit of trouble is gonna uh -oh. have to go out of the way shark with the new map blast does catch joy Baj, and it doesn't look like btk is going to be actually be able to counter this right now as the lord's going to be going over to the ohio brothers mobile zane actually in trouble here in this tight little corridor might not make it out in comes a heavy spin able to go ahead and loosen up btk they still are left to inhibitors more minions pushing towards uh, men Numina oh. comes in but zane comes in with a quick thinking is he caught though half health right now you do see a retribution coming out there joy Baj does uh, jump out there jumping back in with a little dance another feathered air strike coming down for hoon numina blast from yato does not catch hoon no targets there that, yet. but even with this type of advantage i mean where do you go from here if you are btk i know you're going to try to get joy Boss to try to get into that back line to try to uh to try to isolate somebody but uh, not at the cost of losing someone you see we have a numina blast coming down joy Boss gonna try to get out of it a big stun landed on as well as that big boy damage coming from hoon putting on there heavy spin comes out from zane who might be in trouble top of the blades coming out he is not enough to catch a target there you see basic with that speedy light wheel just putting on the damage to the minions as we have some rotating up we haven't synced up the lanes here just yet but we are starting to we are starting that stranglehold by refusing all of this jungle from btk you're, you're right, the jungle's been taken away, Zane's been choked out, and he has to share lanes with XP now. They're not even using a Lord to push in. The next Lord's in 20 minutes, Brian. Yeah, and we do see that again, coming in with that bulwark from Shark. Hoon in the back line, putting on the damage with that feathered airstrike, and this is one inhibitor that has gone down. There's only one left for BTK. Joy Boss goes Dang. down. Uh, Lord is coming in here right now. You do see the focus coming in. Here Rest we go. The Ohio Bears come in, conceal play. That is short work for that Hoon laying down the arsenal for the rest of the Ohio Brothers. And Lord, he gets this crunch down as a heavy spin. Might be it. This might be the first game going over the Ohio Brothers. Chapter one of this mega engagement goes to Ooh. Hoon. Rotate with the damage. Get her out of lane. Take to the next level. Yeah, you see Shark trying to put some pressure on to Zane, and this has been a big thing for Zane. Actually, in a little bit of trouble. Down comes the Apprentice Wrath. Down goes a Shark, but Moba Zane gets picked up by the jungler. Okay, that turtle is up, and we are starting to vie for position. You see that Zane is kind of coming there. Yanareshi comes in there. Hoon with a little bit of damage as well. Yato, oh, might be. No, he gets out. Uh, uh, he's going to tell that story to his kids there. Shark coming in with a Numenon Blast. Uh, and a beautiful Tyrant's Revenge Ooh. comes up there. Is this going to be enough? Cole turned out right now lord t in the fray of things as theo's trying to get himself back to safety pull back is theo but stunned right now is t who uses that flicker to try to get away he is not long for this world pressure. and and btk follows the roam down and answers right but best player is off to a really good start one zero on this assassin yeah 2v3 here right now yato gets taken down quite quickly that turtle is up right now moba zane desperately needs to kind of get the momentum in his favor 3v2 right now lord t comes in with that bravest fighter here comes the feathered airstrike down as well a little bit of trouble shark gets taken down too cold alter is just a hair too late and hoon trying to make his way to safety is going to use that shadow stampede to get away what a play they 2v4 into the lord pit and still take away the turtle best player gets a pick on the other side of the map may get chased down here but it looks like red rate completely changes the mid-game skirmish and they bring so much damage to these fights and they're starting to outplay a bit 
Yeah, Unity of Trouble does use that Torn Apart Memories, but it's not going to be Ooh. enough as basically able to get the kill on there. Numenau Blast coming down. Theo might not, not be long for this world. Down comes the Shadow. Uh, make smart pads, but now Higher Brothers in his jungle for the rest of the game. Yeah, Theo does miss a Tyrant's Revenge. And up at the top, you do see that uh, Basic trying to put the damage onto this tower. They want to get this down, want to put that pressure down. Theo in a little bit of trouble there. Here comes the crossbow of Tang. Is it going to be able to take him down? It is a knot. Down comes the Feathered Airstrike, but followed closely up by that uh, Cold Altar. Shark comes in with a bit of a stun of his own there. But we are at a one-for-one one trade. Basic down. Re-engage. Numenau Blast of their own with a flicker. Catches BTK. So is taken down. Shark actually might not be long for this world has that bulwark up is he gonna be able to get away Hoon doing a great job of pulling mobas in and he is in the wrong way in between four members of the ohio brothers desperately trying to get back down to the turtle yuna comes in for the oh. damage oh, Brazer's wrath takes a down a shot they are delegating what fights they want to take what uh what objectives they want here as we start on the lord five members starting to come in here theo revving up to oh. catch a member there down comes the feather airstrike coming up last with a cold altar Yuna trying to come in here, trying to put on the damage, but he is blocked by that, uh, by that bulwark. Not sure if he's going to be able to get out of this. Yurechi comes in there. Down goes Mopa Zane. That is three members of BTK taken down. Five still up for the Ohio brothers. And T finds himself one. Might be getting a little frustrated. Is trying to come in, try to put the damage onto Yureshi. He has flung, but we have five members onto Zane. He's looking to try to get out of here. Use that praise. Does not connect Zane in a little bit of trouble. Gets taken down. Lord T is the next one. Yato might be in trouble. Basic just coming in. We were talking about the marksman, but Basic doing a great job. Two down for the side of BTK. Walking one. In this river, which is completely owned by Ohio right now. Yeah, we do have a concealed play coming out. They want this fight. They do see that Tyrant's Wrath coming out from Theo. He is not long for this world. Does catch a beautiful stun, but he's going to catch a crossbow of Tang, which opens it up for the rest of the team. Two down for BTK right now. Yato joins the pack in the afterlife right now. We are going to go ahead and start zoning out as the rest of the team from the Ohio Brothers is going to go ahead and get onto this Lord. Moba Zane in a desperate attempt. Lord T into the back line, but here comes a cold oh. to keep the Ohio Brothers stacked up. Bane are Zane is in trouble, gets taken out as well. That is two people left for the side of BTK as this Lord gets taken up quite quickly by the Ohio Brothers. Four members now pressing into the core. This might be it. Lord T desperately trying to come into the back line, does not find the damage. We are down to almost about a tenth down from the oh! core, basically taking down Lord T. Theo alone in the front line trying to cover for Yato. They do back up, but they have a Luminous Lord coming. That means it's at the top lane. They're going to have an immense amount of pressure coming down to this next inhibitor at the bottom as well. We continue on pressing our advantage. You're actually coming in here to zone out the team of Yato and Dio. Are they going to be able to stop this? Here comes the Luminous Lord. We are trying to zone it out. Numenau Blast comes down. Yato gets out of there with the Cold Altar. Down to about half health, is it? A new chapter has started in North America as BTK gets taken out by the Ohio Brothers.